Today we're going to have a look at the Lenovo T420. You can buy this laptop used in about the same configuration as I'm using for around $250. But is it worth it? Well, let's find out and let's answer the question. Can a $250 used laptop game? Hmm, let's see. Okay, so I tested this machine thoroughly, like I tested as much games as I could. So let's take a look at a couple of them. Here is Minecraft for example, take a look at it. I'm currently using these settings. This game, once the chunks have actually loaded into the memory, and the game is really playable. Yes, it stutters every, every now and again, it does spike and suddenly freezes to teraframes and then just returns fluidly. That's expected, honestly, that's most likely when you're moving into a new area where more chunks are loading. So keep in mind, sometimes it will stutter, but it's perfectly playable, you can, you can see it right now, it's totally doable, doable. Next on my list was Team Fortress 2. Well, here is a classic for you. <laughs> this game actually performed really well, considering the performance this laptop can deliver, according to its specifications. Honestly, you, couldn't, you can't really complain. You're getting a solid 50 frames a second. The next thing we tried is some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And this was a massive <laughs> failure. Taking a look at what CSGO provides in frame rates, you are getting terrible performance. And I've noticed this on multiple machines that have older hardware, meaning CPU and GPU. Altroid is running on the same engine as Valve their Team Fortress 2, which is the Source engine, it still performs terrible. When you take a look at the frame rates that CSGO gives, they do hover around 60 to 90 to all the way up to 120 frames a second. But the input lag, that is the issue. So when you look at how much seconds it takes for the mouse to apparently respond, that's what kills you. Frame rate is in everything. Okay, so we arrived at the last two tests that we have to do. One of them is media playback. In this case, I just used some run of the mill MP3s and just played them back. Um, while also testing speakers then, of course. They sound fine. In all honesty, if you put them to the limit, like I mean 100%, they sound a bit overblown, this door that like not great at all. Time for the conclusion, I guess. This machine is ideal for a, again, certain group of people. I'd like to say this, there is no machine that is perfect for every single person. There just doesn't exist. I would love it if there was such a machine you could say, Take that one, you will be on your way to the perfect land. No, that doesn't happen. Sadly, that doesn't exist, and I wouldn't exist if that existed, since seriously, I need something to talk about, and complain about, and whine about, and also maybe compliment them about. <laughs> so this machine is for people that don't need an extremely long battery. This NVIDIA GPU sucks battery, like I'm not gonna lie. For people that need it in class or stuff like that, also if you don't have a wall outlet near, which I couldn't imagine a lot of people having that, not even the laptop for you. If you need battery for more than an hour, I think 3 hours in work is the most I've gotten, 3 or 4. That is unimpressive, just plain old unimpressive. I have my book air, which gets over 12 hours if I turn the brightness down, and I mean over. So that's pretty impressive. Um, so. By all means, if you need a laptop just for simple tasks, even then, on battery, no. If you need a good battery, don't get this one. But if you're the kind of person that needs a laptop, that's pretty powerful, can play a couple of games, and it's also 
modestly silent. It is not silent, but it's not it's not jet engine. If you're just using the Intel GPU, iGPU, no issue. You will actually barely hear the fan spinning. And if you need a bit of a bit more power, it just activates the NVIDIA GPU. So if you're that person and you're tight, you have a tight budget and you cannot wait, you literally have no more time to save up and you have 250 burning a hole in your pocket, get this one. If you, have, if you need a laptop, ASAP, this one. Also, make sure you look for the Core i7 model, it's a bit more powerful, and look for the NVIDIA GPU. If it doesn't specify it is an NVIDIA model, it most likely is not. If it doesn't say NVIDIA, NVS 4200M, 4, 4, 1GB of GDDR3 memory, it is most likely just using integrated graphics. For the love of God, watch out. But hey, that's just my opinion. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. I hopefully made it look decent. This is the first time I've actually done this style of video. This is the first video that is going online, so if you appreciate my effort, thumbs up, it really helps me out. Subscribe to me, I will make more content like this. I have not yet set up, you know, a regular two, two times a week or something, I don't know that yet, that's the thing. So just subscribe, you will see when I put more shit up like this. And um, that's it, until um, the next one, and maybe share this video with some friends, since they might be interested in the good old T420.